dual blade four totems and basically so those are the two totems we cast up and basically you'll need spell totem and then the next setup you would have blade four then after that you would probably get faster casting then added fire damage now when you get a five link you can get concentrate effect for increased damage and then if you get a six link you can use iron will in there so iron will is pretty good for extra spell damage and also it doesn't have a mana multiplier so when you're casting your spell totems it costs quite a bit of mana 100 mana so you know you can put you can get go from 21,000 DPS still cost 100 mana then when you chuck in the iron will it'll go all the way up to 24,000 DPS and it won't cost you one mana extra so that's a good thing about iron will support the other thing with this build is we try to get a fair bit of energy shield so on our skill tree here we start off in the shadow area we try to get the uh, life and energy shield nodes so there's a few of them here there's one here I've still got to get pick up this one over here and we pick up the life and energy shield nodes here and there's more life and energy shield over here so what if we effectively do is if we pick up those nodes then we can get energy shield and life on our armor, energy shield and life, on our helm, energy shield and life, on our gloves and so forth. And so we can pretty much try and get plenty of life and plenty of energy shield for our defense. Okay, so to get to generate power charges, we use Orb of Storms. And then what Orb of Storms is, so we'll cast it up, pretty much we have increased area of effect. Okay, so that's, you can see how big the area of effect is. And what it effectively does is when we cast the Orb of Storms and a mob goes in it, we'll generate our power charges straight away. So it just gives us effectively an extra 5,000 DPS. And I'll just show you guys when we get into the map. Next thing is cast and damage taken setup. So we've got cast and damage taken, increased area of effect and enfeeble, and also frost bomb. Frost bomb gives the degens the mobs gives them 75% reduced life regeneration and 20% cold, minus 20% the cold resistance so very very good and it works with cast on damage taken or when damage taken whatever it is <laughs> so cast when damage taken on the on the helm is linked with molten shell for extra defense and tempest shield and this is also used to summon our flame golem which will give us extra damage as well so we'll go on a map now I've just got a map with monster pack size this is a good example map uh, for this build, so we're going to this tier 8 map, the Tropical Island map, which is one of my favourite maps, and what we'll do is, we'll, I'll just share with you guys, so basically when we get to the mobs, we cast our totems up, and as you can see I've already got all my max ch power charges are up, and all I had to do was cast, cast real quickly, so I'm not going to really need that Thor's gift. Okay, so we'll have a look now. So we currently got 29,000 DPS per totem. So effectively almost 60,000 DPS when we have both our play four totems up. everything out of the map. <laughs> okay. So effectively, once you get used to the build, you can just pretty much go for the map quite quickly.
anyway guys so that's pretty much the build and that's what you'll expect with the dual blade for totems build when you're trying to clear out maps um, it is kind of a general build so it's a quite s simple build to play you just cast your totems down and they pretty much do the work for you if you want to do pretty much a lazy totems build this is a build that I would recommend and I hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching see you later